Hello dear fans. How the computer appeared. The first computer appeared long before our era. The very first counting devices were, fingers. It was they who became the computing device first known to man. Instructions. Step 1. With the development of world trade, people needed a more sophisticated computing device than fingers. This device was the so-called abacus. This computing device was first used in Babylon. It consisted of counting stones on the same ruler. A pebble in the first line denoted the unit of account, in the second ten, in the third one hundred. There were many lines in the abacus, so the merchants had enough of them even to count large wholesale sales. For many millennia, this device has helped humanity in calculations and calculations. The abacus was modified, made of silver, then of gold. Its sizes varied, from large to portable, which easily fit into a pocket. In Russia, at the same time, they created their own calculating device, which they called accounts. They were made of wood, and this was their only difference from the abacus. Step 2. The next invention was the logarithms of the Scottish mathematician John Napier. To help them, he invented the counting sticks used by people to this day. But his invention was not used. It's just that in the same era, a new mechanical device was invented. In it, instead of abacus stones, there were already cogwheels. And this invention allowed humanity to step far ahead. This device could not only add and subtract, it could divide and multiply. Step 3. The entire end of the 17th century was devoted to the invention of ever more perfect abacus models. One of the first scientists to create the world's first computer with a binary system was Gottfried Leibniz. His device, in addition to the standard functions, could extract the square root. But since the scientist did not have enough funds to implement his invention, the new adding machine never came out. But the Frenchman Thomas de Colmar was much more fortunate, he nevertheless set up the sale of the adding machine. And at the end of the century, the device turned into a commodity of world demand. This happened thanks to the most talented seller, Whitgold Odner, who arranged the supply of this device to Russia. Step 4. In 1971, Intel introduced a new development of computers that combined more than 2,000 transistors on a single chip. From all of this, a microprocessor turned out, and so the fourth generation of computers appeared. It is them that are now used by the whole world. Science is developing, computer development and technology are making long strides forward. Therefore, it is possible that in 15 or 20 years the usual personal computer will not be a crystal, as it is now, but a container with organic molecules. Thanks for watching.